together growing in faith, changing communities. Together growing in faith, changing communities. My dear brothers and sisters, I would like us today to reflect on the book of Genesis chapter 12 from verse 1 to verse 9. In those days, the Lord says, said to Abram, Go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you, and I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you and make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and him who curses you I will curse. And by you all the families of the earth shall bless themselves. So Abram went as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he departed from Haran. And Abram took Sarai his wife, and Lot his brother's son, and all their possessions which they had gathered, and the persons that they had gotten in Haran. And they set forth to go to the land of Canaan. When they had come to the land of Canaan, Abram passed through the land to the place at Shechem, to the oak of Moriah. At the time the Canaanites were in the land, then the Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your descendants I will give this land. So he built there an altar to the Lord, who had appeared to him. Then he moved to the mountain on the east of Bethel, and pitched his tent with Bethel on the west and I on the east. And there he built an altar to the Lord, and called on the name of the Lord. And Abram journeyed on, still going towards the Negev. There is something beautiful about this reading. There's something that resonates within my spirit. The first thing the Lord said to Abram, go from your country, from your kindred, and from your father's house to the land that I will show you. And I will make of you a great nation. And I will bless you and make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. This is the call of Abram. But there are certain things that are important. The first one, it is the Lord who speaks. It is the Lord who directs the movement. It is the Lord who has taken interest in Abram. And I want to argue, my brothers and sisters, that the Lord continues to speak, that the Lord takes interest in your life, that the Lord has a great love for you. He's worried, he's concerned, he celebrates who you are. He knows each and every one of us individually, personally, particularly. He goes to Abram and he has an instruction for him. But there's something which is important. There are things that Abram needs to do. And so while God has a purpose, a plan, and a vision in place for each and every one of us. I also have a responsibility. There are certain things I need to do. And so the first thing that the Lord says to Abraham, go from your country, depart from your country, leave the place of your birth. So the first thing is detachment. 
If I want to be successful, I need to be open to transformation. I need to be the one who is able, who is a catalyst of transformation. There are certain things that I need to change. There are certain things I need to leave behind. There are certain goodbyes I need to make. How badly do I want success? How badly do you want success? I want to have a successful life. I want to have a financial freedom, financial independence. Well, there are certain habits I need to get rid of. There are certain friendships I need to leave behind. I want to have a beautiful summer body. There's certain food I need not to eat. And so with every success, I need to let go of certain things. So the first thing that he needs to do is to walk away, is to depart, is to detach himself from the thing that once gave him identity. That's something powerful. Quite a number of us fail in achieving our greatest goal because we still define ourselves by our past. We define ourselves by where we come from. We define ourselves by the country of my birth. I define myself by the circumstances around my birth. I define myself by the poverty of my history. I need to depart from there. Another danger is what I call feel sorry for me syndrome. Any person who enjoys living in that syndrome can never be successful. Because that person refuses is incapable, unable, and unwilling to depart from the country of his birth, from the country of her birth. There are things that have made you the person you are. There are situations that have made you the person you are. There are instances that have made you the person you are. There are people that have wrongly, badly influenced the person you are. That I call the country of your birth. And the Lord says, depart from that. Get out. Move away. My dear brothers and sisters, truth be told, we are defined by our environment. The longer I spend time with these people, the longer I stay in this environment, it will impact in my thinking, in my behavior, and in my future. If I want to be a successful person, I need to associate myself with people who think either like me or even better and higher than I. I cannot want to be a successful person and hang out with people who've given up in life. And so the first thing he needs to do is to get rid of himself from the country of his birth. Now, that's very hard because it is in us, it is innate in us. I'm a South African and I know that. But is it helping me to achieve 
a new identity. And that's why many people struggle with racism, with tribalism, with sexism. Because they define themselves by the things that happened as they were being born. I was born into this culture. I was born into this country. I was born with this gender. But I don't have to be a slave of any of them. Are any of these helping me to be a better person? My language does not define me. My race does not define me. My gender does not define me. My citizenship does not define me. I can transform all that which society has said about any of those things. Leave your country. The other thing that he says, he says, leave your kindred, your father's house, your family. Now, family could be anything. It could be my siblings. It could be my own parents. It could be anybody. It could be people in relationship with me. It could be my colleagues. Are they helping you to be a better person? Is this relationship helping you to be the best you can ever be? If it's not, then why am I wasting time in it? Why am I stuck? And there's something that kills us. I'm indebted to so and so. I'm indebted to my family. I'm indebted to this person. For how long? Pay your dues if you have to, but eventually liberate yourself, set yourself free. And the Lord says something absolutely powerful. I need you to leave all these things. Why? Because I will show you, I will make you a great nation. I will bless you. I will make your name great. You will be a blessing. God says to Abraham, I want to make you a great nation. I want to bless you. I want your name to be the source of blessing. But unless you do those, you cannot get this. And from one man to a great nation, from a son into a blessing, which one do I choose? And this is a time to listen to God and to be your best self. You can do it. Yes, we can. May the Virgin Mother of God continue to be with us, to protect, to bless, and to guide us. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.